All right, welcome back to the Yakushima vacation. What's up, Akihiko? Everyone seems to be having fun. That's a good thing, I suppose. Our operations during the dark hour put a lot of stress on us. We should relax a little and rest up. Under that parasol is the optimal place. Can I? Oh, I can interact with it. Oh, I can save my game here. Oh, I don't need to, though. Yukari. This is such a nice place. Why does Stupe have to be here and spoil it all? Right? Thank you, Mitsuru Senpai. Thank you so much. I could die right now with no regrets. It's all the way over here. You can't even... She can't even hear you. Hamako, help. Junpei-kun is being a creep. How do I get out of here? Mitsuru, do I have to talk to her? Isn't this place nice? I came here often when I was young, but I don't remember it looking quite like this. Leave. How do I leave? I want to say, is the male character, you could just like walk up to the side of the screen and it, it would be like, yeah, it's over now. You can leave. Is it up here? How do you end this sequence? I figured it out. There's a very specific icon at the top left for you to leave. I forgot that you could turn the icons on and off with R1. Meanwhile, at the entrance to the Kurijo Mansion. It's been a while. I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again. None of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Kurijo family separated from the Nanjo group. I'm shocked they give that a text entry. The Nanjo group refers to a character from P1 and P2 Eternal Punishment in K Nanjo, whose family was a lot like Mitsuru's big rich family or whatever. Very strange piece of like world building. I often forget that this is even a thing. It's like never ever brought up ever again. <laughs> You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. Yes, Father. You accessed our database, didn't you? That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? I'm... I'm sorry. Bring them here. All of them. I had no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. Everything? There's a girl named Takaba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? Kurijo family Yakushima Mansion reception room. Everyone is gathered after a sudden invitation from Mitsuru's father. From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Oh, yes. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine, if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth. And it's my duty to tell you. Old footage is being played on the large monitor in the room. Yeah, they just luckily happen to have a copy of this at their side mansion. What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident. Recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. A video recording? It looks like the scene of an accident. The video quality is poor, making the shown man's face unrecognizable. I pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That voice! My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. This experiment should have never even been conceived. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. 
But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. The entire world? Please, listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. <gasps> the man was visible on the screen for a brief moment. The video ended after a large explosion. Dad? You mean... That was... Father. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time. A very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. I... I can't believe it. So, that means... My dad caused it all? The Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident? It was all his fault? Uh, you okay? So that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, Takiba, I... I don't want your pity! Kari ran off. Takiba! Uh. Um... Shouldn't someone go after her? <sighs> Me go after her. Shouldn't you go? That's a good question. Shouldn't it be Mitsuru? I mean, God, this scene is awkward enough. It's the guy character, but whatever. You're right, I should. Yeah, you should. But I doubt she'd listen to anything I had to say at this point. Damn it. Please. You decided to head after Yukari. I believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much. Found Yukari standing at the beach. Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. Wait, people were mean to your family because your dad was in charge of the secret research team that no one knew about? I don't understand. What did they do? Sorry, I'd rather not talk about it. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. It's confirmed that my mom sucks. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared. But I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But it turns out, all of that was for nothing. Why does reality have to be so harsh? I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. I mean, why my father and not hers? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Uh, that's how people are. Stop acting like you have all the answers. <laughs> I'm sorry. My head's a mess. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. Tell me. What should I do? Stop acting like you have the answers, but give me the answers, though. I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents, too. Yeah, both of them. But I'm all right now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Thanks. Hey! Sheesh, <sighs> what's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. 
It's almost the dark hour, so you should get back. I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Sheesh, it's just common sense. Even I remembered. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. It's like trading away your innocence. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? Yep. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. You feel as if you're being watched. Regardless, you decide to return. You're going with the other girls to see a large, uh, oh god, Cryptomira tree, considered a world heritage site. Cryptomeria? Ah, the air is so fresh. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. <laughs> this is awkward. Oh, so listen to this. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday, and I didn't know how to react. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Huh? Oh, yeah. Mitsuru received an incoming call on her phone. Mitsuru speaking. One moment, let me switch over to speakerphone. Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island, and a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We gotta let the others know. Where's my cell? We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. I see. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. Great. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although this island is quite large. Jeez, oh, where could they be? Certainly not acting like total jackasses. Meanwhile, on Yakushima Beach, Shupei and Akihiko are there. Huh? Are the girls not up yet? Man, what lazy bones. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know? You're right. Once the sun sets, the water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Huh? Uh, I guess. Is that what you're worried about? That reminds me. One of the maids gave me a letter as we were leaving. Well, hey, Junpei! The letter Akigo is holding is now in Junpei's hands. Ah, no buts! I ain't letting any love letters from a lovely maid slip through my fingers. Oh, how dumb can you guess? Ah, let's see here. This says we've gone to see the Joman Cedar Tree. Huh? It looks like Fuka's handwriting. Oh, man. We're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why don't they go to the beach? That's just not right. Well, it is your fault. What do you mean? I, I just wanted to lighten up the mood. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're on our own now. Just the guys. If you're out of ammo, you pick it up on the battlefield. That's one of the most basic military tactics. We'll call this Operation Babe Hunt. Please don't make me play this again. Babe Hunt? You mean, like, pick up girls? What do you think, Akihiko-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. Nah, I'll pass. Oh, scared you're gonna lose? What? Hey, I'm not judging you. Most guys would rather back down than lose. All right, we're doing this. Okay, with Mitsuru and our leader gone, I'm in command. Huh? The loser buys dinner at Hagakure when we get back home. Commence the operation. Loser? What do you mean, loser? W wait, we're gonna go hit on him separately? Please don't make me play it. Uh, hi there, miss. Uh, wanna hang out? Oh, I see. You're here with your boyfriend. Uh, hey there. 
Say, do you know the most efficient swimming technique? The butterfly stroke uses your leg strength to... Oh, I... I see. <clears throat> Need someone to rub sunblock on your hard-to-reach areas? Oh, don't worry. I'm really good at it. Huh? Uh, you're trying to get a tan? I'm in the way? Oh, excuse me then. All right, Junpei, what's going on here? You, neither of you have any game. What do you mean? That indirect approach of yours isn't gonna help you score. What? So you're saying I should use cheesy come-ons like yours? Honesty is the best policy. I mean, who wants to listen to a guy drone about muscles and... <laughs> what's up? You see something? Look at this JPEG. That's what I see. Whoa. Talk about saving the best for last. Now that's what I'm talking about. Man, she's cute. I agree. This is our last chance to make up for failures. All right, here I go. Hey. Hey, how's it going? I noticed you've been uh, staring at the ocean. So, um... Do you come here often? My name's J J J Junpei. Ju Ju Junpei? Oh, don't worry. I I just want to talk. I mean, I mean, it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, isn't it? I am looking for a human. Uh, oh yeah? You are not the one. <laughs> wow, he got shot down faster than I expected. <sighs> She's a tough one, senpai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Well, hello there. Say, uh, do you like the ocean? Is your question directed at me? Oh, um, uh, yeah. I, I like the ocean too. Hey, I heard that triathletes who train at the beach perform better than those who practice indoors. Makes sense, doesn't it? That type of information is irrelevant to me. I won. I talked to her longer than you did. <laughs> it doesn't matter how long you talk to her. <sighs> Ugh, this sucks. Hey, stop crying. You're making me feel bad. <gasps> she looks surprised for some reason. What's she looking at? Hmm. Uh, she took off. It wasn't because of us, was it? Who knows? Wait, she's heading into the forest. Isn't it dangerous for a skinny girl like her to wander around all alone in there? Why? You think there might be bears or something? I... I don't know about that, but... We should go after her. Wow, this background looks terrible. You became separated from Yukari and the others. He sends a strong gaze. More palpably than before. It's a girl. She must be the one who has been watching you. What's up? I was correct. I have found you. She suddenly embraced you. I have been searching for you. My highest priority is to be with you. Doesn't seem like she wants to let go. <laughs> there she is. Wait, what? What's going on here? Shunpei and Akaigo have arrived. Even then, it doesn't seem like she plans on letting go. I see. So that's <laughs> her preference. Well, that explains why we got the cold shoulder. <laughs> oh, shut up. There you are. Junpei, what are you doing here? We've been looking all over for you. Um, what are you doing in the middle of the woods in your swimsuits? You have no idea what we've... Huh? Why is she hugging you? Uh, she says I'm her priority. What? Listen, we've encountered a problem. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need you all to go back to the house and prepare for battle. That won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. What do you mean? Oh, you had me worried. You don't have permission to leave the lab on your own, I guess. I know. 
The girl answered while still hugging you. Grijo Family Yakushima Mansion Reception Room. I apologize for all the trouble. Everything is under control now. So, what happened to capturing the tank? Oh, that's been taken care of. Come here, I guess. Coming. The girl you just met walked in. This is Igis. As you can see, she's a mechanical maiden. I am Igis. My mission is to destroy shadows. I have been assigned to seize, effective immediately. <sighs> no way. It's like she's alive. This is unbelievable. She's so cute, but she's a robot. Anti-shadow weapons were created 10 years ago to combat uncontrollable shadows. Igust was the last to be made, and she's the only one that still remains today. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she... Yes. I am capable of operating the persona Palladian. She suffered major damage in combat and has remained in the lab ever since. It's still unclear as to why she suddenly reactivated herself this morning. Well, I hope you will all get along. An anti-shadow weapon with a will of her own? This is amazing! Um, by the way, when I saw you earlier, it seemed like you knew her. Yes, it is very important for me to be by her side. Hmm, perhaps her identification system is malfunctioning. Or maybe she's still half asleep. This is quite interesting. Hmm. I don't think it's that. Yeah, can I not just be cute? Well, I can ponder this later. Oh, I forgot to tell you all. You can participate in a wide range of recreational activities here. There's a tennis court, a pool table, even a karaoke machine. Would you care to hear me sing? <laughs> uh... Thank goodness that none of that happens. Day three of your vacation on Yakushima. You came to the beach with everyone, including I guess. Man, it's already the third day of our trip. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could, but I can't complain. A lot of cool things happened while we were here. How can he be so full of energy? We were all up so late last night. Do we have a mission at the beach today? Nah, it's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Of course. Recreation is the refreshment of one's mind and body. Exactly. Well, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right. Let's take one last dip before we leave. Junpei ran to the water's edge, tracking Igus along. Uh, hold on, Junpei-kun. Is it okay for Igus to go in the ocean? Oh, I'm sure she's waterproof. You sure she was built in the 90s? Only Igus returned. What's wrong, Igus? It is best that we all engage in this activity together. An activity in which only one person derives enjoyment is not the optimal method to have fun. This would be like EA talking about making multiplayer games. Ugh, do we have to? Despite her words earlier, Yukari is having fun in the water with Igus. We should join them. Okay. Fuka and Mitsuru also joined in. Ikutsuki arrived. Are you enjoying yourself? Why are you wearing a suit? We've been quite busy during our time here, but it looks as if we can relax a bit today. I hope so. Hey, Akihiko-san, come on. It's your turn. My turn? What are they doing? <laughs> I'm glad to see everyone is having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship will be arriving tomorrow, yes? I almost likely head over to the port early, so don't be late. Okay, I'll let everyone know. We can get back down to business again once we're back at the door. Got it. Hey, Akihiko said bye! This again? I guess we should go too. I guess wait! That's not what water gun means! Ah! The Junpei Kun is down! <laughs> Alright, here's our chance for an all out attack! What a bunch of nerds. But it's Junpei, so beat the crap out of him. I seriously can't take much more of this. You had a fun time with your friends at Yakushima. With Aegis joining, things are likely to get livelier. Oh yeah, here it comes. 
the best rank up ever. C's rank five. The C social link has reached level five. Your power to create personas of the full arcana has grown. C's determination in battle has been enhanced. Party members can now take a mortal blow for you in battle. You had fun at the beach, so now your friends are willing to die for you. It's the best rank up ever. So stupid. Late night at the Tsumi Port Island back alley. The punks at the hangout are whooping it up as usual. Shinjiro is sitting by himself away from the group. Three dark figures approach Shinjiro. You seem to be in great pain. You guys. Ah shit, it's them. You mean those three? Wow, they're freaky. Shut up, let's go. Man, the voice actor reuse is really heavy. Why do they always run and hide when I approach? They're like back alley rats. Well, why don't you ever put a shirt on? Beats me. Jin, give him the capsules. <laughs> I love Gachapon. The smart looking guy handed Shijiro something. Thanks. I'll pay you the same as... Hold up. This time, information will suffice. Your acquaintances have been busy lately. I'm referring to their activities on nights when the moon is full. They spent a great deal of time in the tower as well. Why did they take this burden upon themselves? <laughs> you do know, don't you? But you don't wish to say. Is it because they are your friends? No, I've got nothing to do with them. Then tell us. Wouldn't you agree these pills are more important than a bunch of strangers? <laughs> I don't know the details, but supposedly if you destroy all those creatures, then the tower will disappear, and with it the Dark Hour. You mean, they intend to eliminate the Dark Hour? Why would they do such a thing? With the power they have... What? They wish to destroy the Tower of Demise as well? Tower of Demise? Who wouldn't want to take out that damn tower? Easy, Takaya. Yes. Yes. I can't go back. Not after what happened. Yeah, hey, keep telling yourself that. Man, I'm beat. It seemed to take forever to get back. Yeah, it was a tiring trip. Please rest up so you're ready for the next operation. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any plans for summer break, so I can fight shadows all you want. Wow, you must really be bored. Shut up, Yukatan. Hey, you shut up. We just have to defeat those last six and it'll all be over, right? Surely. Loss will get better and everything will go back to normal, right? That's why we have to try our hardest. Turn those stupid icons off. Oh, right, I guess it's here now. These are your lodging quarters. Very well, I shall be by your side at all times. She is still far from passing as human. It seems she is unable to understand ordinary feelings and conversation at the moment. If she were able to do that, you may be able to create a bond with her. But as it stands, just put like a lampshade on her and leave her there. Oh, I can apparently do it with a... Oh, no, wait, that's because I... Never mind. I forgot I mapped like the, the shoulder buttons to the right stick. That way I can control the camera with it. All right, save the game. Uh, here. There we go. When we pick up next time, we... I don't know. I guess I should keep studying until I'm smart. And then... Is it technically summer break? I think we're gonna go back to school for like... A week or something and then summer break officially starts maybe? Something like that. Alright, see you guys in the next one.